Okay, today's project, something I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. Glass bottom boat. Well, Perspex, a little Lexan. I don't know, I think I've got a mix of the two. Now, I'm going to attempt to weld it in. I've never welded aluminium. I can barely weld steel. So this is gonna be really interesting. Apparently, you're supposed to put a Teflon coated lining in your welder. Um, just gonna run it and see what happens. So, this could be interesting for anyone who's never welded aluminium. Well, for all those welders out there that have been waiting for me to fail, it did fail. I had the uh, rollers too tight and it squashed the aluminium and it's gotten stuck in the liner. But you all knew that, the ones that knew what they were doing. So anyway, new liner. This time I'm going Teflon. And of course I had to buy a new steel one because I've got aluminium stuck up it. So anyway, hope you learned something. So as suspected, you can see my welds are shit out, but who cares? But it's blowing out. I had a feeling it will, so I'm gonna have to fill that hole, then I'm gonna flip her upside down and because that goes in under there, it should, it should have a bit more meat. So there we go. So fill that, but then fuck they're terrible welds, but anyway. And then I'll uh, just sort of to be honest, I'm probably just gonna try and same weld it, but it'll probably just end up urethane. Bloody welds are getting worse. <laughs> But I ran out of gas, so it's sort of, anyway. Now they reckon, I need to use this stuff instead of this. So I had to get a refill of that one to buy a new bottle. So let's see if this works, eh? There we go, that's much better. Still not great. It's much better. It's still bloody ordinary, but I don't really care because it's only a bloody glorified canoe.
Right, I will aim perfect, but neither am I. We'll do the job. I don't care. We'll just put some silicone. Right, well, I'm nearly done. See, the world's getting better. This <laughs> will great, but it doesn't really matter. It's aluminium. Anyway. So now yeah, I'm trying to put me perspex in and always stainless steel when you go in the ocean. That's why I hate going in the ocean. I hate putting your boats in the ocean. But anyway, this is what it is. You've got to go over there, don't you? To these, uh, uh, CUV, yeah, because this will spend most of its time on the roof rack, I'll put a UV up. <laughs> nah, that's a lie. <laughs> no, I sort of screwed up, but at the end of the day, um, it's that's that's that sounds good to me. I'll cover it up anyway, so when it's at home, it'll just go inside the shed. So I'm ready to Yuri this in. So I'm just gonna hit it with uh, I don't mind me Yuri. And then that'll go in a bead around the outside. I'm gonna drop this in, bolt this on. I'll just put that on to cover a bit more surface area. I'm not gonna bolt it all the way down until it dries and then I'll just last minute walk it down a little bit like you're making a gasket for a car and what I've ended up doing is using this profile so that's that and then it just sits in so all the pressure from the water will push on that and then the pressure of that will push it up further so and then just give it some scrap there on the outside uh, the saw I use it's just a it is it's just a I can't really remember what they are, but it is for aluminium. Oh, you can use it for timber as well. I can't remember why I put it on there. Anyway. And then, because I, my welds are so good, I am just going to put a little bead of this all the way around the outside, just to save drama. And then the last thing will be test it and sink it. So I don't know whether the seats are full of polyurethane or you know foam yet. So we'll find out when we sink it. Um, the motor that's going on it is just a little electric one. It's a little minkator. Ah. So that's what, and it'll also have the little yammy on it just in case we break down. Even though it's only recommended for two horse and thug life, mate. I don't want anybody going over the top. I'm running 10 to 12 litres per minute. Don't want it too much. And these rollers are set to loosen it right off. So it doesn't spin. And then just bring it in slowly until it spins. You don't want those rollers too tight, it'll squash your aluminium. Have your feed rate slightly higher than your ants, but you gotta muck around with that to try and get it right.